What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right now it's around 5 a.m. I'm over here in Utah next to Park City. Out here doing um, some cool things with Ford for the next few days. Actually, I'll be test driving the all-new Explorer ST. I think it's going to be one of the first drives of that new 2020 vehicle. It should be very exciting, guys. And also, I'm experiencing the ST SUV experience. It's the ownership experience that you get when you buy an Edge ST. I, I never bought one, but I'm being invited out here to just experience it and share with all you guys. So it should be a lot of fun. And that all starts in about like three hours or so. But Right now, guys, it just happened. Ford revealed the horsepower of the all new 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. That thing, any, any guesses, guys? Any guesses? Ready for it? 760 horsepower and 625 pound feet of torque. Guys, there you have it. Finally, the day has come. What's fantastic about it is that it outdoes the Chevrolet ZR1, which has the same exact supercharger, and the ZR1 has a much bigger engine, guys, a 6.2 liter. This 5.2 liter V8 that's in this new GT500 outproduces the Corvette ZR1. That's just fantastic. They have it, guys. What do you think about this horsepower? Is 760 horsepower enough? Is that what you're hoping for? 760 horsepower, guys? That, that's a lot. It really is. Because think about this. How many cars out there that have a dual clutch transmission have 760 horsepower? I mean, like, nothing under $100,000 can even compare to that, is there? I think the one complaint people are gonna have is that the car does not make as much horsepower as the Dodge Hellcat Red Eye. As you guys know, the Red Eye makes around, I think, 797 horsepower it is, somewhere around there. Now, that is still a lot more than the GT500. That's 37 more horsepower than the GT500. What's interesting, though, is that this new GT500 makes 43 horsepower more than the normal Hellcats because Dodge did increase the horsepower output of the Hellcats from 707 to now 717. You're getting a vehicle for roughly 70 to $80,000 is, is my guess. And it's got a DCT with well over 750 horsepower. So again, guys, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Excuse this sort of, you know, real simple video because I'm out of town and I am with Ford for the next few days. But this news was just so big that it's um, just so exciting to me. And I just had to share with you guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Well, guys, I think the next thing we have to wait for is to hear the actual acceleration data, that being how fast it is, the zero to 60, also through the quarter mile, and also the braking distance and the weight of the vehicle. Lastly, I think after all that, we're gonna finally see this car actually be part of press events, which is gonna be so exciting, guys, because we're gonna finally experience what this car is all about. And if it really does live up to the hype. One thing I hope for it does is that I hope that they redo the entire track tour because back in 2016 they launched this thing called the gt350 track tour if you owned a shelby gt500 you were invited to experience the all new vehicle at a certain racetrack of choice that being they actually um, designate different tracks that you can choose from i chose to go to the laguna seca experience and it was so much fun it's awesome because actual owners of shelby's get to experience these new vehicles right alongside all the journalists roughly at the same time. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Are you pleased with this horsepower mount? And also considering that this vehicle has a top speed limiter of around 180 miles an hour, is that is that called for, you think? Do you think there's a way to actually turn that off? I, th I think so. That'd be pretty interesting seeing this car head up like the mile. I really do wonder how fast it's going to accelerate, how fast it could actually get up to without having that huge carbon fiber rear wing and also guys don't forget to hit that like button it really does help me out and also subscribe for much more great videos to come i'll see all of you in the next episode